Well, so in the screw kit, they do have these super tiny screws that come in this screw bag. So those are useful when you lose them. I did find one of them, so let's put it in to the CPU board. This would be screw three out of four that we're putting into the CPU board to hold it down. Mind you, I could probably only put in two, but the manufacturer thought four was a good number, so let's not, let's not scrimp on putting it together correctly the way the manufacturer intended. So now the whole trick is to get another one of these screws out of this bag without them all spraying around. This might be a good trick. What you want to do is use your fingers to get one screw kind of pushed up toward the top of the bag and into your fingers without dropping it. There it is. Put this somewhere safe. Here's the last remaining screw out of four of them. So we're going to put that in. This, I think, is uh, one of the worst parts of this. You probably want to get a magnetic screwdriver or something. Because it'll fall off and then it'll fall onto the board and you can't find it. Okay, so the fourth one's in. Okay, so now you have this potpourri of wires and stuff. So as you recall from the last video, we know that these um, these pins are are very nicely done in that the lower pins, lower left goes to lower left here, upper right goes to upper right here, lower left on the right side goes to lower left on the right side, upper upper right goes to upper right here. So that means these wires will not be messed up. So the obvious thing to do now would be to take the um, take the controller here, I'm sorry, the R PXRX module, which has sticky tape, and sticky tape this guy back here. And this is a module with a flashing orange light that you can see through the louvers. So if that orange light is flashing, you know that you're bound to your unit and you have TXRX. So I'm going to just kind of press this guy in here pretty good to get him in. That should do it. Let's check where the antenna is going. That's the antenna that goes down into the legs of it. So that antenna was going down here, right? So let's put it down through here. Out the bottom of the aircraft. There it is. You'll take that on to the landing strut. And now this remaining antenna here goes up into the wing. So here's the wing and it goes up into here. You've got to tape that on because you will slice it when you put it back together if you don't. So I still got some tape from the last time I crashed this thing and did this. So I'm going to lay the antenna through here. Do you see how I'm laying the black wire through here? You want to curve it up here and just get the wire to be in this conduit of the plastic and press the tape down into the frame. Make sure the tape doesn't cover these holes and you don't want the antenna to be anywhere near these seams or else you will slice the wire. And this is actually coax wire so it would be very expensive to find an antenna like that I would think. You would probably have to buy the whole module. So what's obvious here? Okay we have this plug that goes to gimbal and there should be a corresponding wire for it that we uh, unhooked. Can we find it? Is it obvious to us? This wire here, I would think would go to it. No, it does not. This one here is the compass. So we're going to want to put the compass back in here. This is where I should have taken a cell phone picture of it. So the illumination is not that whole. It's going to be this one. So we're going to line these um, pins up. The pins are facing down, and the pins here are facing down, so we're going to put the plug back in here and plug it in.
should go right in there. And it's not. Probably head backwards. There it is. So sometimes these plugs are tricky. And you want to force them because you'll break the pins perhaps. I don't know how well they're made, but haven't broken one yet, but you could. Okay, so I would like to put this wire in if I can find it. Obviously all these wires are for the control of the ESCs. There are four of those. This black wire goes to the compass. And I don't see where that wire is. Oh, there it is, right there. Look at that. So, the wire was sort of hidden away here. So, let's plug it back into the uh, gimbal plug. And if you look at this thing, the pins are facing down. This thing's facing down. It's still kind of curled the way it was installed before. The wire has a, uh, I would say, a permanent bend in it from being in here for months. So, let's put this plug back in. That looks about right. Shove it gently and it's back in. So now we have our dowel connector for the gimbal connected. We have the compass connected. Oh, that's got a cool little board there. It's kind of neat. We have the TXLRs connected. We have the antenna routed along the wing. We have the other antenna routed down to the leg of the quadcopter so the, the next thing we do is we're going to route the ESC control wire and the ESC power wires up to each motor and we'll do that in our next video how's that